Right, ladies, I'm back. Um, like I say, it went out before I could thank Marlene properly, but for that rack, I'm absolutely chuffed to death, Marlene. Um, I love everything you've sent, and I will have such a lot of fun um, using it. Believe you me, <laughs> I will. So I'm just popping that out of the way. Right, I'm just going to show you the stamp set now that I got today. And, um, well, it's loose stamps that I'm going to have to put on to... Um, now, look at this. I've knocked the camera. Can't get it right at all. There we go. Um, hopefully, I've got the address where I got this lot from. Um, right. So, I'll just start with this one. Uh, nature. Oh, sorry. Which one? Where am I? Here we are. It says Nature. Oh, it's twisted for some reason. There we go. Um, little stamp. You do have to back them yourself, but my husband will do me the wooden blocks like he normally does. So that's nature. Can't remember what that one is. Look, <laughs> I need to stamp it to see. I think it's a flower. If I remember rightly. The um, grass. Long grass. The plants. Can't remember what it's called. Now this was the uh, like an invoice. So I thought that was great. Will be look good on the tags. The ferns. I love this one. Look at that. The ferns. Um, again, flowers. A rose. Nice deep rows that I can use for the uh, when I'm using the modelling paste and things like that. So um, they go in really deep, so that'd be nice. Or for doing the stairs on, that'd be even better. Again, like a, the tall grasses. Mainly wanted these for the backgrounds of my projects. The um, old-fashioned lamp, the vintage lamp. It's a post uh, card. Vintage postcard. Look at that. So I'm going to do these and show you them. More flowers. Again, a rose on a stem. The gorgeous, gorgeous butterfly. Look at that. Gorgeous. Thrilled with that. The, um, the post stamp. Which will do for the wooden, you know, for the wooden shapes that Marlene's just got me. You can do that for them. Like the swirl, fancy swirl. And the tickets. So I got the tickets, admit one. So I'm hoping to get the, uh, the ticket thing to um, be able to cut me on the ticket die to get me on. Uh, the foot. <laughs> just thought that was cute with him doing a baby book. And the best of all is this one. Doesn't look like much, does it? But it's the tree branches for the background that I want to do. So I got those. And I got these from... Let me just have a look. Uh, Delaware. Uh, Delaware. It's D E L L A. W A R R and um, I'll just read out what they were for the prices because they're very good prices and all you need is a bit of well I'll show you them look the Calla Lily was uh, $2.85 eight, $2 the Water Lilies was $4 the Fox Glove and Bird Silhouette that's uh, $2.75 the Fern $2.75 the Fennel Silhouette, three fifty. The Foxglove Silhouette, two fifty. The Vintage Postcard was four dollars fifty, which was very good for that. The Butterfly was three dollars seventy five. The Lantern Trio was three dollars. That's the um, vintage one. The Hanover Postmark was one fifty. The Flourish was three. Scratch Flowers, three ninety five. Trees Background, five fifty. The Admit One Ticket Stubs was three seventy five, and the Sailor Jack. Sailor Jacks was three seventy five, and um, so yeah, they were well worth it. Even though I have to mount them myself, 
which I'm not bothered about because we just put them onto MDF wood. And I've got a batch of stamps there that's cost me a quarter of what they would cost if they were already wooden, um, backed with wood. So, right, what I'm going to do now is to move on um, quickly. And, uh, one of the girls in work came in this morning and brought me a mum's old... Well, a mother brought it in. The jewellery she didn't want anymore, some more pearls. That just reminded me when I saw it of a picket fence. Look, picket fence. So I'm thrilled with that. Um, a nice necklace with um, that I can use for charms. Quite bonny, that. Um, a diamante necklace that she didn't want anymore. A bit tangled up, but look. Which I can dismantle. Um, like a green beads that I can take off, use on my stick pins. Some nice um, clear crystal ones and some, like a, what I call a milk type of bead, milk colour. Um, some more shell ones with beads that I can use for the um, stick pins. And some earrings that can take off and be used as a charm. So I'm thrilled with those. And then a friend in work came in and gave me these. Whenever she loses or breaks anything, she never wastes it. She always brings it in for me. And these are glass beads. Look at those stunning glittered inside. Um, little dangly bits that you can use as charms. Some black ones, black and gold. Use those. Some spacers. Oops, didn't have that then. Little spacers, um, and a couple of the um, look. She even put the space things in that they've come off, and a couple of the turquoise beads. So I'm absolutely thrilled with those. Really chuffed with the people in work because they're always bringing something into me. They never waste anything now. And that's my lot for today. So um, thrilled with all my packages. Thanks very much, Marlene, and I hope you like what I've got for you. Um, thrilled with these stamps. I'm going to give them a go later on. Get my husband when he comes in from work to um, mount them for me. Um, I'm just thrilled with everything. So um, we'll see what we can do tonight as a tutorial, and I'll see you then. Thanks very much, ladies and gents. Bye.